it, one of the things that really strikes you when you come back is to stand here, and I know the, you know, the clouds down here, but you didn't really see this when you were here. You were so concentrated on that. But you come back and you think, well, you know, it is an amazing uh, vista that you have. This is a unique ground uh, and a wonderful place to, to play rugby. And it's an amazing pitch which we all aspired to from our earliest age and uh, and uh, great fun it was uh, rugby you know I was lucky most of my career we played rugby for fun and while obviously very competitive and wanting to win but uh, great memories of, of getting into the first 15 you know oh wow you've made it and what that meant socially in terms of your uh, you know prestige within the school was massive you know it was a big lift to your confidence and uh, and then this building over here, Mad Wife, is it used to be Woodburn now. The ritual one aspired to, we're talking about aspiring to be in, in the first 15. We uh, used to change in the change rooms at the swimming pool. There was this routine on a Saturday for a home match. You'd, we'd have lunch together and then we'd go back to, I'd go back to John Strachan's room, one of the props, and we'd listen to the Sex Pistols uh, to get ourselves psyched up. That was it, psyched up. And then we'd go up with our freshly beautifully laundered white shorts and shirts and we'd, uh, we'd, we'd change up at, uh, up at the pool and then the captain would lead us over here. And then this bizarre sort of 70s ritual happened where we'd go into basically part of the old mad wife who's just undercover there and, uh, and whoever was the man in charge of psyching us up in the team would, would deliver the last week. It wasn't necessarily the captain. And then we'd do this Max Boyce uggy 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 thing, which was the ultimate thing. And then we'd run on here and the old stand was on the far side and everyone in the old stand, and everyone had to come and watch the first 15, would stamp their feet and the whole thing reverberated. And it really was, it was, it was, a, uh, it was a real atmosphere to playing on this pitch in those days. Things have changed in many respects. The pitch is better, it's drier. We've got this amazing new facility here, but I'm sure the first 15 have the same feelings, if not exactly the same rituals that, that we had then. And I'm sure it means just as much to them now playing on, on this pitch and representing the school as it did to us. You come to Glen Arman and uh, you just meet a whole lot of people that you, that you either know very well or not so well, or the father of a son that you knew well, or just, you know, it's that Scottish thing, the great village of Scotland. And uh, it's been wonderful meeting people. So, you know, people is, is the main thing. But, you know, I come back to walking on here and go, it is amazing, isn't it? You know, it's an amazing spot. And uh, these are the things that strike you, people and the place, you know, it's wonderful.